you get to sing for us on this Thanksgiving Sunday. blessing of uh, wireless internet is that uh, my computer was trying to update, so I, I stopped it. So this is our time for uh, remembering uh, our offering. Remember that God loves a cheerful giver. Your morning offerings for the work and witness of Commerce and Andrews United Church I gratefully acknowledge. So let us pray. Creator of the world, you crown the year with your goodness. May we who have been blessed give thanks always, sharing from God's abundance. In all the earth, may we recognize your gifts and treat them with reverence. Amen. We'll listen now to the dark song. Corinthians 9, 6 to 15. The point is this, the one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver, and God is always able to provide you with every blessing in abundance. So that by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work. As it is written, he scatters above, he gives to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest, harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way for your great generosities, which will produce thanksgiving to God through us. 
for the rendering of his ministry not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also overflows with many thanksgivings to God. Through the testing of his ministry, you glorify God by your obedience to the confession of the gospel of Christ and by the generosity of your sharing with them and with others. While they long for you and pray for you because of the suppressing grace of God that he has given you, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. <laughs> 